Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review tonight. Okay, this one is by um, Kern River Brewing Company. And uh, they're from Kernville, California. This one is called Intergalactic Space Tuber Hazy IPA. And um, it has uh, galaxy hops. Let's see if I can find the ABVs. 6.8% alcohol by volume. I've never had this before, never seen it before, nothing. Um, says, um, Galaxy hops are really hard to procure these days due to their sought after tropical characteristics. New beer names are equally hard to come by since there are so damn many beers out there. We figured this unique hop deserve um, a unique name. Did we mention it's a hazy? Enjoy this tropical space blast and push your flavor and tubing experience to the outer limits. I do plan to do that. Okay. Um, there was um, a sticker on the on the um, the thing it came in. Hang on one second. Okay. Yeah, I came in a four pack, four pints, and I, they put a sticker on top of the the plastic holder that keeps the cans together. So this thing's like about a month old, or um, they received it. it yeah, I think it's yeah, it's a month old because um, they just got it in Total Wine and More. I think it was like uh, fifteen bucks for four pints. So um, let's see if there's any more literature here on it. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Doesn't say the IBUs or anything. It says with Galaxy Hops. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty much it. So, um, that's what the can looks like. Okay. I do like their beers. The ones I've tried so far are very good. Very, very good. Okay. So let's get it crack open and see what we got here. I was down at Total Wine and More uh, today, and they just got a bunch bunch of new beers in. So we're going to be having some really good beer reviews here in the near future. Um, I saw the new Stone and Joy buy just came in in bottles this time. Uh, I saw um, McKellar. Um, Freddie Mercury Hazy came in. A um, couple other ones. So uh, my people down there are going to be uh, pulling for me. So they're going to they're going to stash them for me because I don't think they'll last. Uh, the really good ones like those will probably go really fast. So it's good to have people. All right. Okay, so we have a big, frothy, creamy, silky head, a little bouncy, some big bubbles popping up in the middle there. It doesn't look like a uh, New England though. It just looks like a hazy. And this is not a frozen glass. I'm probably going to stop doing that. It's pretty hazy though. I'm not seeing the sharpness of the light through there though. So it may be a um, New England light, possibly. All right. It's like a um, like a orangey yellow color, hazy. All right, this is the real test right here. Can we see through it? I bet we can on this side. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's not like a milkshake hazy or nothing like that. It's just a hazy IPA. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, right from getting like um, citrusy tropical notes. Yep.
Okay. Yeah, it's like um, um, like I would say pineapple, kind of orangey. Little grapefruity. Little lemon zest. I'm getting all kinds of notes in here. I'm getting floralness, some some pininess. It's almost like um, like a tropical indica purple bud. It smells really good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. These guys are really impressive. They're very impressive. Um, it says something here. I missed something on the can. Um, it says uh, these guys here are um, Great American Beer Festival Brewery Group of the Year 2019. These guys are really brewing some awesome beers. Okay. Well, the taste um, is uh, a lot different than the aroma. I mean, those notes that I picked up in the uh, aroma are there, but there's a whole, mu whole bunch more going on in the sip than the aroma. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Wow. Whoa. That is really good. Damn. Um, I'm getting like uh, some earthy kind of hops now in there with the citrusy um, kind of tropical notes. Wow, that's super good. Uh, has a medium mouthfeel, really smooth drinking. I'm almost getting like a chocolate note. How odd is that? This beer is a trip. It is super good. No raw alcohol, no raw alcohol notes or no booziness or nothing like that. Super, super well constructed beer. I'm very impressed with this brewery, uh, Kern River Brewing. They know they know what they're doing. This is a. I've never tasted an IPA hazy IPA like this. This is different than a New England or whatever. The malts that they're using are really good. I don't know if they're putting like oats in there. I don't know, but it's got a really excellent malt backbone to it. It's not bitter. It's just all flavor. Yeah, it's almost like a almost like a chocolatey kind of malt note. Then you get the the um, the sip doesn't have as much citrusy tropical notes. It's more like a malty, almost chocolate, bready kind of a note. I mean, look at that really nice uh, lacing on the glass and head retention. Ribbit. Excuse me. This beer's awesome. Just really good balance of the hops and the malts, like really well balanced. I'm gonna pause it. Excuse me. I'm gonna drink it down and trip out on it for a little bit and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, this beer is awesome. Um, it's, um, it's a little bit of a sweeter uh, hazy IPA than a lot of the hazies that I've had that are real hoppy. This one's not like super hoppy. It's a balance of hops and the kind of a bready kind of chocolatey sweet malt. Um, so it is a sweeter type of a um, hazy IPA. 
which is very good. It's done very well. It's a super well constructed beer. So we'll swell it one more time and see if I can pick up anything else and we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, it's just like a, a citrusy kind of tropical hops, like lemon zest, grapefruit, orange. Um, yeah, pretty much those are the main ones. And then you got that kind of sweet, bready, kind of choc almost chocolatey type malt coming through. You want to get this one fresh though, because I got a feeling if you um, if this one gets over a, a couple of few months old, it's going to get way too sweet and it won't be enjoyable. So you want this one fresh. This one's about a month old. So. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. So on a scale of one to five stars, uh, two and a half B and C, just average. I'm gonna give this puppy a four and a half stars out of five. It's it's pretty damn good. So um, four and a half stars it is. That's my story. I'm gonna stick with that. I'll have the description of this beer in the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. I'm gonna give this one double horns up. Four and a half stars. All right, everybody, um, if you see this um, and you want a really well-balanced, hazy IPA and you can get it fresh, I would recommend it. I mean, it's worth the 15 bucks. So uh, that's what we got on this, and uh, we'll check you all later. See ya.